Deacon Josh Young. <laughs> Where are you from, Deacon? Who is this Deacon? I'm from Atlanta. Uh, I'm studying for the Archdiocese of Atlanta, not a legionary. Uh, and so I'll be ordained a priest in June. Uh, and so I was the deacon last night uh, of the Word for the Holy Father's Mass, uh, which was a... Uh, an incredible experience. Um, the, I, everybody kept telling me that I didn't look nervous. Uh, I was extremely nervous. I was not so nervous about singing the gospel because I had known about that for two weeks, so I had practiced a lot. But all the movement, you know, and all the other things that I had to do with the altar and getting from place to place and all those things, that was all brand new. I had just found out that morning everything that I was going to be doing. So I was really quite nervous about all that, but once I got, once I got to the end, and I, I started, I was like, okay, this is good. Except that most of you, unless you were sitting behind, you couldn't see. When I get nervous, my hands don't shake, my voice doesn't quiver, my legs start going like this. <laughs> so nobody could see it, but it was going like this. <laughs> but uh, it was, it was really an incredible. Uh, even during practice, to walk up around that altar, which is enormous, it's, it's, it's huge, it's like this high, it's a huge altar. Uh, just to walk around that altar, it's built on top of the bones of St. Peter himself. Um, and and to, to carry the Gospels, the, the book of Gospels I was carrying, you know, I don't know if you noticed, when we opened it up, it had this beautiful kind of ring. That wasn't a photocopy. I mean, that was a, that's like a 500-year-old book of the Gospels that had been rebound. <laughs> and uh, just absolutely beautiful. And you know, to go and I before the before the uh, before I read the before I sang the gospel, you know, I had to go and I was right in front of the Holy Father, and you you know bow before him and you say, Father, give the blessing. And, uh, and uh, just to kind of look at his eyes, I mean, it's kind of funny the look he was giving me, like, oh yeah, you again. <laughs> <laughs> and then I turn around uh, and, and went up, and it was just. It's just an amazing experience. And I, I realized as I was singing, people were commenting, if you could see me, I was kind of smiling while I was singing the gospel, which is funny because most of the time we were serving these people, you know, very stern and serious looking. And uh, the, the Pope's head MC had told us, as we're walking out in the practice, he said, you know, it's okay to smile, it's Christmas. You know, and so I'm like, okay, well, this works for me. So during the gospel, at the points I kept smiling because I realized that as I'm standing there, and I kind of had all these people at home that I was thinking of, that I was offering intentions for during the while I was singing, and uh, you know, thinking about the billion people that would see it. All this other stuff. And then I get to the line, "Evangelizo Bobis Gaudium Manu." I, I I announce to you a great joy. You know that Christ has been born. Christ the Savior is born for us. I realize I'm announcing Christmas to the entire world. Um, you know, I mean, that is just amazing. And I remember I, I, I started smiling then. I was like, you are announcing Christmas to me. It was, just, it was just incredible. And one thing I found out after the Mass was that, I mean, I don't know if you noticed, that thing I was wearing, the Dalmatian. Yeah. <laughs> it was incredible. Very stiff, I, I might say. But uh, it took three people to get it on to us because they're very fragile. So each person, we had to wait. And I basically, I put my arms up, I had to kneel down, I put my arms up, and the guys were kind of putting me on this very gently. Because the Dalmatic is from the pontificate of Pius IX. Um, now that was in 1850s, okay? The Dalmatic that I had on had a, a patch on the inside of it. And it has to say that the Pope had on it. Uh, and he said the Dalmatic that I had on was one of the Dalmatics that the Pope had worn in 1850. The Dalmatic that I had on was one of the Dalmatics that was worn by the deacons when Pius IX proclaimed the dogma of the Immaculate Conception. So it's all, it was all gold thread. So like the gold that you saw, it was real gold sewed into it. It was just incredible, this thing. Of course, when you try to sit down, it didn't give at all. So it's like stiff. It doesn't give. So you go sit, it's like, uh, <laughs> And the MC comes over, he's like, no, 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 you have to do this. You have to lift the thing up. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't move. <laughs> um, you know, it was an incredible grace. And then I, I got to meet the Holy Father afterwards. He uh, we lined up outside of the viewing area. In the, you know where the Pieta is? That's where the Holy Father vests. 
so we were standing there. I watched him get vested, and they're rough with him. Let me tell you, I mean, he just kind of stands there with his arms out. They're putting all this stuff on him. It's rough. It's crazy. <laughs> but uh, then we go and we meet him afterwards, and he comes in and he bows to the cross. It's there, and then um, his secretary asked him if he wanted to greet everyone. And sometimes he'll let it rip him up and kiss his ring. And he was clearly tired, so he said, "No." He said, and then Archbishop Harvey came up and told me this afterwards. He said, "I want to greet the deacons." He said, "And I want to congratulate the man who sang the gospel." Aww. So, Aww. that was pretty incredible. It was all very incredible. now. That said, and I'm not just saying this. The mass today for me was more special. Um, I love the Holy Father. I love that Mass. It was incredible. I'll remember it for the rest of my life. But the grace of a first Mass, I guarantee you, the Holy Father would have told me, if he had known, the Holy Father would have said that the more important Mass is the first Mass of a new priest. to Father Edward, who I will call brother for at least a year. <laughs> Here's again, Father Edward, for the first and probably last time. <laughs> 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 <laughs>